Cynthia Jane Anderson, age 20, worked as a legal secretary at the law offices of James Rabbit and J. Feldstein in Toledo, Ohio in 1981. On August 4th of that year, she was last seen at the business. When her employers arrived at work, they noticed that the radio was turned on and their desks were ready for the day. Unclaimed mail had been placed on the front door handle. A romance novel that Anderson was reading was open on her desk. Anderson was nowhere else in the building. Although her purse and car keys were missing, her vehicle was still locked in the parking lot outside the office. It was unusual for Anderson not to leave a note on the door when stepping out during work hours. She left a significant amount of money in her bank account, and her social security number has not been used since her disappearance. Prior to her vanishing, Anderson received suspicious phone calls at work that seemed to distress her. Her family reported that she also had recurring nightmares about being attacked by a man. In response to her concerns, Anderson's employers installed an emergency buzzer at her desk. They also kept the office doors locked at all times. Several suspects have been considered in Anderson's disappearance. None have been officially ruled out by investigators. Anthony and Nathaniel Cook, two brothers convicted of multiple murders in Ohio during the 1980s, deny any involvement in Anderson's case. Another convicted murderer currently incarcerated in Ohio is believed to have had possible involvement in her disappearance, but no concrete connection has been established. The individual has never been publicly identified. Convicted drug dealer Jose Rodriguez Jr. and his attorney Richard Neller are also considered suspects. Neller worked at Anderson's law firm in 1981. Authorities theorize that she may have overheard conversations related to drug deals between Nella and Rodriguez. Investigators speculate that this information could have led to her possible abduction and or murder. These claims remain unproven. During Rodriguez's trial in 1995, an informant testified that Rodriguez confessed to killing Anderson, but the testimony was deemed unreliable. Both Rodriguez and Nedler are currently in prison for drug convictions. No one has been charged in connection with Anderson's disappearance. <laughs>